Hello boys, welcome to your maths class. Now, today we are going to learn time. Can you see ma'am has written on top on the board? Today ma'am is going to teach you time. Now first ma'am will teach you with this clock. You all know what is this? This is a clock and the clock tells us the time. So the time has two hands, the clock has two hands. One is the long hand and one is the short hand. The short hand tells us the hours and the long hand tells us the minutes. Okay? So now, can you all see the seven on uh, the short hand is on number seven and the big hand is on number twelve. So what is the time boys? It is seven o'clock. All right. Now, the short hand is on number 9 and the big hand is on number 12. So, what time is it, boys? It is 9 o'clock. Yes? 9 o'clock, you'll get up and you have your breakfast, you have a bath. So, you must see the time. Whenever you get up in the morning, you should first see the time. Now that ma'am is teaching you how to see the time, you should see the time whatever whenever you do any work you should see the time when you sit down to study also you should see the time that you are studying now another one ma'am will show you now again the short hand is on 11 and the big hand is on 12 so what time is it boys yes correct it is 11 o'clock yes okay now another one, now the short hand is on number 2 and the big hand is on number 12. So what time is it? It is 2 o'clock. Yes, and when you usually used to go to school, 2 o'clock used to be your home time. So you we used to wait eagerly for it to be 2 o'clock so that we could go home and relax. Now the next one is the short hand is on 4 and the big hand is on 12. So what time it is? It is 4 o'clock and this time you get up and you study, isn't it? When you go home then you eat your lunch, then you rest and then your mummy wakes you up at 4 o'clock to study. So it is 4 o'clock here. So you can also see. So when you see if it is not 4 o'clock, you can tell your mommy, no, it is not 4 o'clock just now. I will not get up just now. I will get up at 4 o'clock. So now that you have learned to see the time, you can tell, nobody can make you a fool now. Now you know how to see the time. So you tell your mommy, I will get up at 4 o'clock and study. Now, the next one is, the big hand is on 12 and the short hand is on 5. So what time it is? It is 5 o'clock and it is time for you to go and play with your friends. Yes. So 5 o'clock we go and we play with our friends. So we know when it is 5 o'clock it is time for you to go and play with your friends. Then now mama has told you come back home at 6 o'clock. So now where will the short hand be? The short hand will be on 6 and the big hand will be on 12 like this. So now it is 6 o'clock. Now it is time for you to come back home and take a nice wash, have a bath and then drink your milk. So this time, it is a time for you to come back home. I am going to draw this I have shown you on the clock. Now I will draw a clock for you. Now, you have to make a clock like this in your copy, okay? You will make clocks like this in your copy and then when ma'am will tell you, show the time, 7 o'clock. You have to show the time, 7 o'clock. 
Now how will you do this? You will put the big hand on 12 and the short hand on towards 7 like this. So now this is showing your 7 o'clock. Then ma'am will tell you All right. Now, ma'am is giving you, giving, going to give you another time. That is nine o'clock. So now, the big hand will face towards twelve, and the small hand will face towards nine. So what time it is? It is nine o'clock. Now the next one. Now next time that ma'am has given you 3 o'clock. Now you have to draw the hands and you have to show 3 o'clock. So the big hand is pointing towards 12 and the short hand will point towards 3. So what time it is? It is 3 o'clock. Okay. Now next is your two o'clock so you have to show the time on the clock the clock will be given to you you have to draw the hands and show the time two o'clock so the big hand will be at 12 and the small hand will be towards two so what time it is it is two o'clock all right boys Now you have to see the clock and tell the time. So what time is it showing over here? Where is the big hand? The big hand is at 12 and the small hand is on 10. So what time it is? It is 10 o'clock. This is how you will write the time. When the time is shown on the board, then you will see the time and you will write the time over here, 10 o'clock. All right. Now what time is showing over here on the clock? It is showing the big hand is on 12 and the short hand is on 8. So what time it is? It is 8 o'clock. So you write here 8 o'clock. Right boys? Now, the big hand is on 12 and the short hand is on 11. So what is the time boys? The time is 11 o'clock. So here we will write 11 o'clock. Alright boys, have you all understood this? Okay, now ma'am will be giving you an assignment on this. I hope you all have understood the clock well. Once again ma'am will repeat. Today we are going to learn this. We have learned about time and the big hand shows the minutes and the short hand shows the hour. So when you see a clock, there are two hands, the big hand and the short hand. Alright? So whenever you see a clock, you have to see the hours and the minutes. When the small hand is on, suppose on 5 and the big hand is on 12, so what time it is? It is 5 o'clock. So remember boys, you have to learn to see the time and ma'am will be giving you assignments also to do. So all the best. And thank you for now. Hey, I am a clock. I am used to know the time. My flat surface is called my face. The numbers 1 to 12 appear on my face. I have two hands just like you. But my one hand is short and the other long. My short hand is also called an hour hand. It shows the hour. A day has 24 hours.
So, the hour hand completes two rounds in 24 hours. My long hand is also called a minute hand. It shows the minutes. Come, now I will teach you how to read the time. See, my hour hand is on five and the minute hand is on twelve. This means the time is five o'clock. We read it as five o'clock. We write it as five, then colon, and then zero, zero. Let us see the time once again. Now, my hour hand is on nine, and the minute hand is on twelve. We read it as nine o'clock. We write it as nine, then colon, and then zero, zero. Hope you had fun reading the time with me.